Good morning guys, it's Monday and welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Beard of Berserker. So yeah, hope you guys are keeping safe and well with all this madness going on with COVID and one thing or another. Hope you're staying safe and well wherever you are. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support that I'm getting over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt and here on my Beard of Berserker YouTube channel where I'm trying my hardest to help promote, support, advertise and show you guys out there that there are some amazing products being made by small brands, individuals and craftsmen out there and not huge, huge, massive faceless brands that literally have a shit ton of money that they can pour into promoting, marketing and advertising their products that these smaller brands simply don't have, which is why more often than not they take to their social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and everything in order to kind of like advertise and promote what they do, which is why I set up this channel a few years ago to try and do what I can to try and help them. And with all the reviews that I do on my channel, stuff that I go and buy myself, bits and pieces that get sent through to me, all of my reviews always have been, always will be, completely honest, completely unbiased, and everything I do is my own opinion. So if there's a reason why I like a product, constructively I will say why I like it, and if there's a reason why I don't like a product, equally as constructively I will say why I do not like it. So I've got a couple of days off work, so I'm playing catch up with reviews at the moment. I'll have your coffee. Uh, uh, uh. Still waiting on test results through for my throat, which is all good fun, but yeah, nice to have a couple of days off and relax, other halves at work. And thank you guys for all the support. Like I have said before, that if I do happen to reach a thousand subscribers, um, then I will be doing the mother of all giveaways, loads of stuff in there, not just beer products, but pretty much everything you can ever think of. Well, not everything, because we have I've run out of unicorns. And you will notice with all the reviews that I do on my channel, there's no flashy graphics, intros, outros, and stuff like that. Everything that I do is done in one take. And there's no editing done at all because I'm a simple old man with just his iPad in front of him. So I record my videos, upload them straight onto YouTube. So you'll know that Halloween is coming up. I love Halloween, always have done since I was a kid. Um, just down the road from us, we've got the UK's largest joke shop. And as a kid, I used to go in there with my nan and they're just masks, wigs, Halloween stuff, literally all year round. And it, it was just, I can remember looking up as a kid and going, wow, amazing. But unfortunately, as a child, my parents, stand with them, which is fine, didn't really celebrate Halloween, you know, it wasn't kind of the done thing. And so once I left home, I could start doing what I wanted. So I started collecting horror bits and pieces and masks and everything. And so I really love Halloween. I love horror masks. I love props and anything to do with kind of horror movies, scary movies and stuff. I prefer the older stuff, as in kind of the Friday 13th, Halloween, films like that. Um, not so much necessarily, uh, what's his name? Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. That, I wasn't a huge fan of that, but I like the old kind of horror movies and sort of the effects and props that they used to use. And very kindly, because I've got my live Halloween special coming up, obviously on the 31st of October, because that is when Halloween is. So please join me for that. It's going to be a live one. I do it every year. But I've been very kindly sent through a couple of masks from the US. I am here, obviously, in the UK. By... Monsters by The Maker. This is the card, as always, links will be down below in the description uh, description box. And basically he makes custom horror masks, hoods and costumes. He's on Facebook and he's on Instagram and his email address as well on there. But like I say, I'll be putting links down below. And he creates all manner of terrifying, spooky bits and pieces now. Don't get me wrong, like I say, I love Friday the 13th. I do need to get myself a Friday the 13th mask. Um, I love the Jason hockey mask. It's kind of one of those just pieces that just reminds me of my kids. I've got Michael Myers and stuff like that. Um, but I do love stuff that comes out of people's creation uh, brains, you know. They just create different bits and pieces and just stunning. And 
what he has created is absolutely amazing. And also, as a bonus, he's sent through another mask as well, talking on Friday the 13th. This is the part two mask, you know, the one where he's just got the bag over his head. And also, there's a bit of sort of hessian burlap in there. Does, and he will create just about anything. Some of the creations that he's come up with is simply amazing. I'll put this on at the end and show you what it looks like, even though it's really nice, thick, sort of weathered... Um, I don't know whether it's cotton or canvas and I like the fact that it's got the string hanging off from it and because you don't want stuff that looks too pristine and too neat but the mask that he has sent through for me to actually review is this fella here I've put him on Kevin me polystyrene head mask or my mask holder and this is absolutely epic the detail that's got in there it is a mixture of latex and also this kind of canvas, thick canvasy or really thick cotton um, sort of thing, which is quite cool because obviously I have a beard and if I wear a mask up here, I've got either tie my beard up or just hangs out the bottom. So it's nice that it covers my beard up. But just the weathering and the detail that's gone into this is just absolutely epic. That's the other film that I love, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original one. So... The way the teeth are on there and really thick, decent wire. They're not, it's not, nothing about this looks bad. I don't know, it was terrifying, but nothing about it is kind of like bad quality or badly made or anything like that. I love the, the way that the latex goes down to the canvas um, as opposed to full latex. The blood work on that is really cool because it's not too bright and obviously blood changes colour as it dries and everything and to oranges and browns and purples and stuff also got some hair in there i'm hoping this isn't scalped off of someone but just the detailing is absolutely stunning it, it does look like it's been ripped off of someone's face and just kind of like i don't know mixed with the canvas and everything the actual strap itself is leather it's a decent um four rivet strap that goes around head aka sort of slip knot almost style which is really nice because what i would probably do is i'd put possibly another hole in this and wear this one over my head as well so i've got kind of that down the back um just to make it all enveloping otherwise i've got my head sticking out the back or wear some sort of balaclava or something with it but it's, it's just absolutely mental now the prices on these just bringing up um my notes on my phone the prices on these do vary depending on what you want um i did have to pay customs on it but i have no problem with that arrived in about two weeks in the u.s i'm not absolutely sure whereabouts he is in the u.s but i know he's in the u.s and this one is called the meat bag it consists of leather, fabric, and latex, and for the price, they start at around about 80 plus shipping. Now, I, don't, I would assume, well, I don't assume because I tend not to assume anything in life, but that's either $80 or £80. I'd certainly pay $80 for it, and I'd certainly pay 80 quid for it because everything that he comes up with is literally a one off piece. And plus, I like the fact with this is it actually goes. It's kind of gathered in, if you can see, under the neck, so it just doesn't hang flat. There is some sculpting in there where the chin comes out. I had to pay 25 quid on customs, but that's neither here nor there. I'm glad you got it, man. Um, got there so soon. I threw in a Friday 13th Part 2 hood in there as well, which is so cool. And like I say, some of the creations that he's come up with are just absolutely stunning from animals sort of pig heads to these meat bag ones and everything plus he does all the costume in and all the overalls coveralls and stuff like that all bloodied up um absolutely absolutely stunning and i'm going to be using this in my live halloween special so you'll see what it looks like on Really nicely done. I like the way as well that there's kind of like blood mashed into the hair that looks like it has been scalped off of someone and the blood's clotted and matted together. The teeth, to me, and the blood 
and the latex work and the, just brings it all together just to make one stunning piece. It's absolutely freaking terrifying, um, which is nice because, don't get me, I, like I said, I love old horror films, Friday the 13th, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Halloween, but you kind of see someone wandering around on Halloween with one of those on, it's like, yeah, really cool mask, whoever's done it and everything, but yeah. So when I can guarantee no one's going to have a mask like this because they are literally one-off pieces. And the fact that if I stare at someone through the window with this on, it's going to scare the living crap out of them as opposed to, oh, look, there's someone outside wearing a Michael Myers mask or Friday the 13th hockey mask or something. But absolutely amazing. Uh, links will be down below. Thank you so, so much to Monsters by The Maker. And like I say, links will be down below. All sorts of bits and pieces on the website. Um, just to put this on, take my glasses off so you can see it. And finish, might as well finish the rest of the review with this on. <coughs> so yeah, um, I hope whatever you guys are doing over the week, or uh, this coming week, have an amazing time. Whatever you're doing, stay safe. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on helping, supporting each other. And above all, keep on loving each other because you only live once. Make the most of it. Love each other. And I think I actually look better with a bag over my head. Kind of AKA elephant man. I'll just wear this. I could use this as my new COVID mask. Go to work in this. It would just scare the cack out of people. So yeah, I might go and do some food shopping with this on. I do have another review coming up uh, a bit later on. I'll take this off so you can actually see, because some of you out there might have um, sight or what was it, hearing difficulties and might need to lip read. I do have another few more reviews uh, coming up, so please stay tuned for that. Thank you guys, thank you so much for Monsters by the Maker. Have a great day. Thank you so much.